What's up everybody and welcome back for another video where today we're going to be mounting our GoPro Hero 5 Black onto our Shoei Quest helmet. We're going to be going for a front mount down here in the mouth area and hopefully we can get this to work out quite well. These are some of the supplies that we have. Got these low profile screws to use in place of the regular GoPro thumb screws should provide a cleaner look. Got a mixture of mounts and pieces here to choose from to put something together. This is a combination from my Hero 2 kit as well as a helmet front mount kit. You got a curved sticky mount. Got the Hero 5 black itself. If everything goes to plan, hopefully we'll get into putting on our microphone adapter, mounting our microphone itself, and we have a little dead cat windbreak for the microphone. So with that said, this is going to be a lot of trial and error. There's no, I haven't gone ahead and figured out exactly what I need for this, like some people might do. I probably should have, but I figured we'd just start, film what we can, and we'll tidy it up into editing. So first of all, you can see with the Shoei, not much in the way of real estate for putting an actual mount there. Right, so if I were to take this sticky mount, Try to fit it somewhere. It's going to be overlapping with our bench shield cover. So what we're left with is going over in this area, somewhere around here. This area here should give us a nice mounting point. I'd like to minimize the number of pieces. That should minimize the number of joints which could flex and the length of the overall mount which could flex as well with high winds. Camera for instance I'd like to end up somewhere in this vicinity with the lens lined up with the nose piece in the middle of the helmet. So for that reason the camera is actually going to be a little bit off centered just so that lens is lined up properly. So let's start having a look. So I'm going to take our mounting hardware Get it into our sticky mount. Probably not going to need too much. We can probably eliminate this joint. Bring this one back to here. Maybe even more. Let's try that much first. Alright, just like a good game of Legos. Alright, so if we're mounting around there. It may give us what we're looking for. Alright, so yeah we can adjust that over to the side a little bit, I think that'll work out nicely. Alright, so now let's get working at the mount, tidying it up, put the camera over there. We have our J-hook mount from the front helmet mount kit. A little joining piece there and then we have another smaller joining piece which goes into a longer extension which has a 90 degree turn and then one more extension piece upwards from that so what we're going to do is just tidy this up using the, the screws we have so what we're aiming for is a nice tidy look. So the J-hook pretty much set with that being upwards there. So we can try and continue that theme of having the nuts upwards and the bolts down. If you want to be a little bit OCD about it. 
So these screws here, they match up nicely to where the thumb screws used to be. Give you that low profile effect. You can thumb tighten them, they have some grooves along the side. And we'll finish that off with the Allen wrench once we have everything adjusted the way we like it. Just continuing on with what we were doing. Pretty self-explanatory what we're doing here. Just replacing those thumb screws with the hex bolts. So far you can see the nice clean look that it's given us. Actually for the camera I think I'll put on a thumb screw just to make it easier to come off. So let's have a look see if this is still what we were trying to achieve. So I'm just trying to get a good look now at how this is lining up. So this should give us room to tilt the camera back for a good viewing angle. Measure and eyeball a ton and then peel that sticky. Alright, so after a lot of pressing and grunting and squeezing all the above, we've got a pretty good seal with our sticky pad. Let's get our mounts lined up to where we want them. So now we'll just get this lined up and we can lock it into place. A little bit of play just in the mount there. Nothing to worry about though. And there you have it, that's the GoPro 5 mounted to the front of the helmet. So I guess we'll continue on. We'll get the microphone adapter mounted, get the actual microphone itself inside, and get this ready for making some moto vlogs. So the next stage is to figure out a good spot for this microphone adapter. It's going to plug in down this area right here and open up this side panel that's where you see the USB type C and this little door just pops off and then we put the camera back into the mount just like this the microphone adapter is going to go in there. So I'll take some 3M double sided tape, mount that on there. I tried the double sided 3M tape for mounting the microphone adapter to the side of the helmet. It did not work as I had planned. So what I ended up doing was zip tying it onto the mount. So it actually turned out better than I thought. You know, zip ties can be a bit unsightly, but a module double-sided taped onto the side of the helmet can also be pretty unsightly. So this thing is not going anywhere. Alright, if the mount goes, then sure it'll all go. But I'll try to avoid that happening. I may even try and put some kind of a secondary retention, something along those lines so that if this 
mounted fail over here that we're not looking at a big amount of money loss from cameras going tumbling on the highway or on the side streets. So the next step is for the actual microphone. And here it is. This is a Sony condenser microphone and that will plug right in to our microphone adapter and we'll run that under into our speaking region. So I'm thinking that I'll probably put it probably behind this cheek pad somewhere in this area right and then have that piece of dead cat microphone fluff which is right here I'll stick that on there somewhere as well looks like there's a little elastic to go in like so and we'll just stuff that inside a cheek something like that find some way to get it to stick alright and that should give us a complete moto vlogging helmet setup so we've been through all the process and now we've just finalized the microphone so you see it coming out of the 3.5 millimeter adapter goes into this channel here any excess cabling has been tucked into this cheek pad see a little bit of a, a bunching up there showing where it is nothing else viewable inside cheek piece went in nicely and it doubles forward and you see that little bit of dead cat with the microphone sticking out from behind the cheek pad I've also added in that secondary retention that I mentioned previously We've got a wire running from the main mount on the front here running back to a secondary sticky mount that was here previous we installed this when we did a side mount GoPro setup so I just installed one of those hex bolts into that mount like we did the wire wraps around got that zip tied and taped also guys if anyone's wondering how hard it is to break down this setup just to use the helmet without the camera all you have to start off with remove your secondary retention like so undo your microphone from the 3.5 adapter you can tuck that up into your cheek pad All right. And just pop off your main mount, like so. Camera's off, and your helmet's back to camera-free status. Also, replacing the camera back onto the helmet is rather easy. Just slide on your primary mount, plug your microphone back in, take your secondary retention, there you go nice and strong so if the primary mount does fail we do have a backup to protect our investment of all this video gear and mount hardware just wanted to add that in there so I hope you guys have a great day